that's a good cup of coffee. And guys, we are back. Yeah, today's gonna be a fun video and I'm glad that you are here to watch this. And you may be saying, Alex, hey, you look like you're in an awfully good mood. What is the occasion? Well, first off, I'm usually in a pretty good mood, but today's the day that a project of ours and Oh hell, you know by the title what you know what you're watching. Today is the day that we're gonna crown the 2021 Canvas Print Shootout Champion. And it's been a wow, it's been a long geez. We've been pushing these out for three three months now, two or three months at least. Jeez, actually possibly four months. Anyway, so it's been a long journey from when we uh, released our first one this year for 2021. Actually, there was a lot of work before that even took place from ordering all these prints to uh, reviewing them, pushing out the videos. Um, this, as I pointed out in all these videos, has been a different format than what we've done in all the previous years that we've done this. All the previous years that we've done these canvas print shootouts, we basically compile all the videos and put them in one solid video. And force you guys to sit and watch a two, three hour, actually it's never been a three hour video, but last year was a two hour video. That was a beast. So this year was the first year that we kind of framed them up in the way that we did, making them small bite size. And it, from a searchability standpoint, finding them on, on YouTube is much easier. So if you're considering buying a print from uh, Bay Photo, uh, you can type in Bay Photo uh, Print Review or Canvas Pop Demand or whoever it might be, and you're gonna be able to find our reviews much easier versus a video that has 50 different companies in there. And you know, we never did 50. This year is the most we've done. We, did, we tested 11 companies. Last year there was seven and the year before that we did three. So this video, what I'm going to do here in a moment is I'm gonna break down, before we go announcing the winner, uh, one part that I've never really clarified in the past is uh, our scoring system. I wanna share with you how we came up with the scores that we did for each one of these. Uh, also, one of the things that I do wanna identify here is in just as a reminder that uh, below this video, I'm going to include links to all the other reviews or all the reviews that we did this year as well. And I, I just want to clarify because I know some people that might have, I've noticed some of the comments on some of the reviews in the past, and some people get a little worked up over my comment, my opinion. And just keep in mind, at the end of the day, this these videos are my opinion. Now, I've been in the industry long enough where I can tell, I know the difference between a good print and a bad print. I know what to look for in these prints. And the whole idea behind this, make no mistake about this, is look, as a consumer, you work hard for your money, especially over the last course of the last couple of years, your money has a much, I think, has a much greater value. So when you're going out there buying things, you want to, if you're expecting to get something of high quality, you want something of high quality. And it really bothers me that there are some websites out there that I've spoke about that will claim a list of top canvas prints. And again, you know, as I've mentioned in a handful of videos, when you look at their list, their list starts off with all these companies and they show these stock images of prints, so which means they've never even touched any of these prints, but yet they're a, they are listing a list of companies, which generally results into which companies are paying them or where they have the highest affiliate commissions out of that. And so we do things a little bit different here with, with our Canvas Print Shootout. So we will blindly shop these, these companies, we'll send the same print or the same photo out to each one of these. So then we'll open them up in front of you. So as I've, if you've watched some of the other reviews that, or watched the reviews that we've done, I'm opening up everything in front of you. So while there is, while I'm sharing with you my opinion, what I like and what I dislike, as a consumer, you're able to see for yourself, okay, if I'm opening up, you're able to see if, the, if it's packaged nice or if it looks like shit. Uh, if the canvas is loose, that might be important to you. It might not. Uh, if you, When I'm pointing out that there's banding in images, uh, I think most photographers would be concerned about that. Um, if the detail's off, if the, uh, the frame is off, these are all things that as you're watching me open these things up and I'm pointing to you on camera, you can decide as a consumer if you wanna do business with that company or you may not. If you are a professional and you're looking for the best out there, well, these videos are gonna be very helpful because 
It gives you a set of eyes that otherwise you would have to buy a print in order to see what to expect. Now, of course, as always, we put these videos together to help you as the consumer, and you would be doing me a great favor if you can hit that like button down below. If these videos have been helpful to you, if you get that like button, because what it does, it tells YouTube's algorithm that this video is awesome. YouTube's gonna share it with more people, getting more people aware of our channel, so a big thank you. That said, my friend, pull up a seat in, let's go. All right, first, so I'm gonna reference my trusty notes here so I don't miss anything. Now, one of the first things I do wanna clarify, so when you watch any of the reviews, you're gonna notice there are six categories that we judge uh, photos on. Uh, we have color, we have frame, we have detail, canvas, uh, presentation and production time. Now, each one of those categories, we we rank from one to five. Uh, one being the absolute worst and five being the absolute best. Actually, only one company earned themselves a zero on one of these and that was um, Canvas On Demand for their frame or lack of it or a real crappy <laughs> version of it. Um, but let me share with you or expound a little bit on how each of these categories is judged or what it generally means. Uh, the color side of it, that's pretty straightforward. If there's banding or it, what I'm looking for are prints that are to get a five, it has to look as close to the original photo as possible. No banding. I'm looking at a lot of the, the sharpness and details and all that other fun stuff. The next item here that is super important is the frame. And the frame is pretty simple self-explanatory does it have one for one this year we there was i think three or four companies that didn't have frames and they had those god awful pizza box uh, designs but one thing i'm looking for in a frame is i'm looking does it have a cross member uh, going down through the center is there corner bracing is the what kind of wood did they use is it something cheap uh you know when you run your hands over are you catching splinters or the edge is sharp is the corners miter nice or is it all goofy these are all things that I look for in a frame. Uh, details. Uh, now, we had a category called detail. And detail, while the main focus was on each year, I send out the prints with a big, nasty uh, logo in the right-hand side or the bottom left-hand side, rather. And this is meant to trigger to see whether the, a particular company has quality control. Are they going to look at it like, oh, the, the logo's hanging off over the, the side on the front and on the side? We had a few companies like that and it looks horrible. Uh, or is a company gonna reach out and say, hey, do you want something fixed? Or you know, where they actually get it centered back on it. So that's detail. Uh, then we have canvas. So this is a big one uh, as well. So canvas, is it a quality canvas? Uh, or does it look really uh, very textured? Um, also, we categorize the staple frequency in with canvas. Now, staple frequency is very important. Uh, on each of the, the reviews that I did, I will count the number of uh, staples on the top. And I think Canvas HQ had, I think it was 61 or 62. And I think the least one had nine. I can't remember who had, well, the least had, were the, the pizza box ones, which don't have any staples. They're just glued on there. Uh, but I. I think the least one had like nine or 10 in it. So the staples are very important. So once you want the canvas to be tight, and that's another thing I'm looking for. Does it sound like a drum when you when you uh, tap on it? Or does it sound like a flat basketball? That's very important. A good blend of staple frequency is going to keep that canvas taut or tight over the years. Uh, then we have presentation. And this is kind of the overall feeling when you look at the, the, uh, the, the print. And this also kind of, that, that curb appeal that comes along with it. And then we have production time. Production time kind of capsulizes the, the shipping time, the package that it came in, how it was secured inside of there, because that's that's super important. When a print is coming from a, a long distance or you're drop shipping to somebody, if they don't secure it in there, that thing's just rolling around in UPS or FedEx or whoever the hell uh, is shipping or carrying it, they're drop kicking it from where it was printed to where it's going and prints can easily get messed up as we've seen with a couple prints this year. And then what I do with these six different scores here, obviously each one is worth five total. There's six categories. So a perfect score is 30. So you notice that final scores ranked from one up to 30. We didn't have any, I think the, the least one was 10 and the best one had 29. 
And that, my friend, is how we score these. Now, let's get on to the fun business. And as I mentioned a moment ago, what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna start off with the three worst prints for 2021. Starting off with a measly 10 points. Uh, that was canvasdiscount.com. Uh, coming up on that was Canvas On Demand. They had 11. And then Mixbook had 12. Again, this is out of 30, so these are not good scores at all. Uh, CG Pro Prints had 13. Shutterfly had 14. Canvas Pop had 15. Snapfish had 15. So Snapfish and Canvas Pop were duking it out for actually the halfway point. The next one was a surprise because I know these guys and I expected something better. Uh, Nation's Photo Lab. Uh, these guys have been around for a very long time and they got just an 18. And so those from CG Pro Prints to Nation Photo uh, Lab, these are kind of in the middle, folks. Now, let's slide on to the top three. We have Pictorium, uh, Canvas HQ, and Michaels are all duking it out for the top three or the number one position. Now, coming in at third, we have Michaels uh, at, with a score of 21. Um, coming in second, and this one right here, this one right here, they surprised me. The the open the box presentation, it it really they did a great job. And I think the company that I'm going to share with you here in a moment, if they make a few minor adjustments, I think to their print, I think they have a real shot. And as far as what how we judge these things to take the title here in an upcoming year, because they really did a good job, but there are a few things on it that just kind of threw the scoring off a little bit. And coming in number two is Pictorium, and they scored a 26. I think, the if you may recall with that particular print, there was some banding in the sky. Uh, the print was, I mean, overall the curb appeal was fantastic. They came with this, one of the things that still amaze me is they threw a full-on level in there which again i thought that was really cool stuff so pictorium if you guys happen to watch this you guys did a good job 26. so of course leading for the third year in a row in the number one position is canvas hq and canvas hq scored a 29 and so they are the winner of the 2021 canvas shootout and canvas hq if you happen to watch this you guys would have scored a perfect 30 if you put the back on it. That was the one area that each year I keep hounding you guys and I get it. You know, you put it back on it, people don't get to see the awesome frames that you put in there, but I think it would be a cool option to offer to people, hint, hint. Um, and so for the rest of you watching this here, so now you know from top to the other side of it, what these canvas companies are. If you've not watched any of these reviews and you're considering one of these companies, again, I'm gonna put links uh, down below so you can watch these, the each of the reviews that we have done. That said, guys, this was a fun video to put together. It was a very exciting video to put together. It's one of those video series that, for obvious reasons, has taken the most amount of time. It has been a lot of work to put these out. So again, we make these videos to help you make educated decisions. And again, these are just my opinions. When you watch these videos, you may agree, you may not. But at the end of the day, if you want a quality print and your compass is aligned with, like for example, how we score them, there you go. Hopefully these videos will be helpful for you. If they are, do me a favor, go down below, hit that like button. If you're currently not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And last but not least, so therefore you're notified each time that we come out with a video just like this, hit that bell. And that said, friends, I'm gonna turn off these cameras. I'm gonna get out of my studio. You have a great holiday season and we'll see you in 2022 with the next Canvas Print Shootout. Closing things off, you get out there, stay healthy and create your best shot.